me just waiting for YouTube. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, everybody. We are back again. It's 11 a.m. and it's time to get crafting. We're going to be learning some numbers together today. We are going to be making our very own threading apples, which I cannot wait for. And we're also going to be announcing today's superstars, of which we have a record-breaking number. Today, oh my goodness me, we have three superstars. Now, I've ha I couldn't choose because actually they, these children have just been all-round wonderful. They're children who have helped around the house. They've been incredibly kind. They've been learning so much so that they've been able to do independent learning as well. I've just been so impressed. And as of today, we also have certificates as well. So if you have been awarded a superstar before, get in touch with me and I'll make sure to send you a certificate. And as of today, I will be showing off those certificates. It's so exciting. We had to wait for them to be drawn up by our lovely illustrator, the most curious cat. Um, so now we have them. I can't wait to send them all out to you. Let's start with our welcome song. Show me those wonderful welcoming hands. This is how we say hello to each other. Now, you might not be able to see each other, but you're all watching together. So we say a big welcoming hello at the start of each session. Here we go. Hello, everybody. It's time for us to sing. Hello, everybody. It's time for us to sing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Time for us to sing. Well done, everybody. And if you've already seen me today, you'll know what day it is. But if you haven't, we worked out by using our Days of the Week song that today is Wednesday. Let's use our Days of the Week song again to help us to learn the order of those songs. Here we go. Go. Oh, those songs? <gasps> those days. Sorry, I got distracted. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday too. Every day's a happy day, every day's a magic day, each day's a different day and every day is new. So, if ever you join me a little bit later than the start, you can find the last day and that will help you know what day it is because what you can do is sing it with your eyes monday tuesday wednesday and that's how you'll know today is w w wonderful wednesday well done everybody absolutely fantastic i have been so impressed to hear all about how you've been using that incredible learning to know your days of the week, but also how you've used it to learn about what day it is today, what day it was tomorrow, and what day yesterday. yesterday. <gasps> what day it is today, what day it was yesterday, and what day it will be tomorrow. That's just incredible, you guys. You're all absolute superstars, but today they have already been named. So I've got them all written down. The first superstar that we have today, and I'm honestly so, so impressed with this little guy, is, oh, what have I done? I've not printed out enough. Oh, that's so annoying. Come on. Okay, so Max, Max, you are one of our superstars today. Now, Max, I haven't yet had time to print and laminate your certificate, but I will, I'll do it today. And if you get your grown up to send me your address, I'll send it in the post to you. So Max, well done for being one of today's superstars. I'm so, so proud of you. Great job, Max. I'm going to put you up there on our Wednesday list. Absolutely fantastic. So we have another superstar. Now, this superstar watches every single day and is just absolutely fantastic. Is always trying his best. Always super wonderful. So today's superstar is... Soren. Soren, you are one of today's superstar. Now, Max, don't worry, you're going to get one of these two with your name on it. So I will show you yours a bit later. I'll send a picture to mummy, okay? So Soren, I'm so impressed with how kind you are. I'm really impressed with how well you've been learning your sounds since you started learning with me. You are just an absolute, oh, let's put that there so you can see it, an absolute bundle of wonder. So well done, Soren. Let's put you there. Oh, it's all going a bit wonky today, isn't it? What's 
going on with my Wednesday? We had trouble with this earlier, didn't we? There we go. Oh, do you know what Wednesday? You are being a tricky nuisance. There we go. There's Wednesday. And then finally, our final superstar of today is the lovely Thea. So Thea, you have also been doing absolutely brilliantly with your sounds and helping and being kind and all of those wonderful things that we look for in a superstar. I'm so proud of you. So Thea, this will also be going in the post to you, a certificate just for you. Let me show you what that looks like. There it is. There it is. Oh, Olive says, well done to Soren. That's so kind, Olive. Well done. Oh, and Ailey is here. Hello, Ailey. And there you go, Thea. So you are another of today's superstars. So you are right there. Oh, thank you. And Thea's watching. And hello Let's to... See, I was watching last time I had to eat the same page. Oh, that's okay. Big hello. Bella, you've confused me. Take it away. Take it away. <laughs> She's just handed me um, a book. And I'm sort of looking at it like... I don't know what you want me to do with that. Um, but well done, guys. Your certificates will be in the post. And I've also got a certificate for Oscar, who was a superstar yesterday. So all of those and Max's, they will all be in the post today. And hopefully you will get them tomorrow. Well done, everybody. Let's give those little superstars a lollipop clap. Here we go. Lolly, lolly, lolly pop. Lolly, lolly, lolly pop. Lolly, 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 pop. Well done. And grown-ups, if you think your little one really, really, really deserves a superstar and you want them to have one today, then you can print one out from my website and I will send a voice message to congratulate your little one on their superstar award. So all is not lost and there's always tomorrow. But you all are superstars. I'm so proud of all of you for your brilliant learning. So let's sing a song together to celebrate we are going to sing one of my absolute favorite songs and we haven't sung it yet it's called five current buns so will you help me count those current buns up onto my tray are we ready one two three four and five. Now I want you to listen out for your names to see if you get to buy one of my current buns today. And I promise you, they are scrummier than they look. Here we go. Five currant buns in a baker's shop, round and fat with a cherry on top. Along came Ailey with a penny one day. Bought a currant bun and took it away. There you are, Ailey. There's a currant bun just for you. And I hope it tastes marvellous for you. Now we have one, two, three, four. Four currant buns in a baker's shop. Round and fat with a cherry on top. Along came Jackson with a penny one day. Bought a currant bun and took it away. There you are, Jackson. I hope you enjoy your currant bun today. How many do we have left now, though? Can you help me count them? One, two, three. Great counting, everybody. Three currant buns in a baker's shop. Round and fat with a cherry on top. Along came Thea with a penny one day. Bought a currant bun and took it away. There you are, Thea just for you. And now we have two left. One, two. Two currant buns in a baker's shop, round and fat with a cherry on top. Along came Maya with a penny one day, bought a currant bun and took it away. There you are, Maya. That one is for you. And now we just have one. One currant bun in a baker's shop, round and fat with a cherry on top. Along came George with a penny one day, bought a currant bun and took it away. There you are, George, just for you. And I hope you enjoy it. They're delicious, I promise. Now, I would like to sing another of my favourite songs. And this one very much asks you to remember and know your colours. We're going to sing five green and speckled frogs. So there they are. And each frog has its own little colour that it sat on. And I want you to remember the last one to jump. And I'm going to ask you, I'm going to challenge you. And while we're doing that, we're also going to use 
our numbers as well. So at the moment we have one, two, three, four, five. Five green and speckled frogs. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were four green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Did you have a look at the colour of the frog that jumped? I'll show you again. <gasps> Let's count them. One, two, three, four. The number four. Well done, everybody. But what was the colour of the frog that jumped? Well done, everybody. It was purple. Fantastic, everyone. And now we have four. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were three green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. But what was the colour of the frog that jumped? Can you remember? Well done. It was red. Fantastic. Now, how many frogs do we have left? One, two, three. Let's look at that number three. There it is, the number three. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were two green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. But what was the colour of the frog that jumped? Can you remember? Well done. It was the colour of our superstars. Yellow. And now we have two. One, two. Let's hold up our number two. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there was one green speckled frog. Glub, glub. But what was the colour of the frog that jumped, I wonder? Have you got it? Well done. It was green. And now we just have one. What colour is it? Keep it in your mind. And let's hold up that number one. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were no green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. But what was the colour of the frog that jumped, I wonder? Have you got it? Well done. It was orange. Fantastic work, everybody. And now there are none. And the other word for none is zero or naught or nothing. Zero. Great counting today, everybody. And I loved watching you all really looking at those numbers. Let's have a look at the number zero to help us write it. So if we turn the zero around, we can see a lovely big round moon. And so we always remember that when we're writing zero, we go around the moon. Can you follow with your finger? Around the moon. Let's turn it around. Around the moon. Zero, which means none. Let's have a look at our number one. And we've got one little dot there. And when we write the number one, we stand up straight. Stand up straight. Can you do it with me? Stand up straight. One. Let's look at our favourite, the number two. Let's count. One, two. Two dots. When we write the number two, we go over our monster's eyes, down, wipe its swat, swat, I can't see, snotty. snotty nose, and brush its teeth. The number two. Let's go up and over our monster's eyes, down its snotty nose, and brush its teeth. Well done. And finally, for today, the number three. One, two, three. We're going to go red, amber, green. Show me with your number finger. Red, amber, 
green. Red, amber, green. The number three. Red, amber, green. One, two, three. Well done, everybody. And a great job for learning your numbers with me. You are wonderful. Let's sing one more song before we get into our brilliant craft today. It's called You Are My Sunshine. Here we go. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. So don't take my sunshine away. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. So don't take my sunshine away. Well done, everybody. Now, who is ready to make their very own apples? For today's sound, ah. You are? Oh, that's fantastic. Well, the first thing that you are going to need is a circle of paper or card or a paper plate. So I have my paper plate and today I have decided to paint it red because I want to make a big red juicy apple. Now you can use red card, you can colour in your paper red or you could even make a green apple. You could even have an orange apple. Sometimes apples do look a bit orangey. And when we look at the back of our, ah, ah, this one's a bit green and a bit red. So your apple can be whatever colour you choose. Now, I've already painted this one because I had to make sure it was dry before I started to work on it. OK, so there's my apple shape. So I've got that there. That's ready. So we're going to start with our apple. Now what I've also done is I've got another paper plate, but again, you can use card for the next bits. Now our apple really needs an apple core like this. And it also needs a big leaf. Now if you want to, you can even make your apple look just like the one on the picture clue on our Read Write Ink cards. So this is going to be my apple's leaf and this is going to be my apple's core. So we've got our big circle, coloured in whatever colour you like. And then we're going to get those other bits and pieces ready. So I've got some ready already, but I'd like to show you how I did them. So I started by cutting out a stick and I actually just cut into another paper plate, but card works fine for this too. I just really like the texture of the edge of the plate. I think it just gives it that lovely kind of, it just looks really nice. And this is an old paper plate that I had and I'd, I'd used it to punch some holes and things. So it's nice to know that I'm recycling it. Now, if you're going to be using scissors today, remember to ask your grown up because scissors are very sharp. Make sure that they're watching you and that you're using them safely. So I'm going to start by making my apple's core, not my apple's core, what's it called? Bella, what's that thing called on an apple? The stalk! I got it, it's a stalk. I'm making my apple stalk, so I'm cutting into the plate. I'm going to do two strips like that, and then I'm going to cut them across. Oh, we have a very loud LED today. What's she doing, Bella? I don't know. So when I do my lives, if Elodie doesn't want to join in, she'll often just go and play upstairs. But uh, I do ask her to be nice and quiet, but it doesn't normally happen. So there's my apple's stalk there. And then for that lovely leafy shape, I'm actually going to really use the edge of my bowl because it's already curved, which helps me. It doesn't mean it means I don't have to do too much cutting. So what I'm going to do is cut kind of a, a rainbow shape a really squashed one now you can draw before you cut or you can just trust yourself and cut whichever you prefer now I need these to be the right color so I'm going to grab my singing board and some blue tack do you know 
the blue tack always goes missing in our house. Grown-ups, do you find the blue tack always goes missing in your house too? Seems to be a bit of a thing. It used to happen when I was teaching in schools as well. I'd have to really closely guard my blue tack or I'd find it turned into little monsters and sausages and things. So I'm going to stick that one onto there, just like that, and that one onto there, just like that. Bella! Mommy. Right then, so... Elodie, would you like to come and join me? Grumble, grumble. Okay, so I'm now going to colour those things in and I'm using a felt tip pen, but you can use colouring pencils or you can use felt tips or you can even use paint. So there we go, I'm going to colour them in. I'm not being too careful because I'm going to go over them with paint a little bit later. I love the lovely pattern. It does create a lovely pattern. I might need another another green. Elodie, can you come around the other way for me so that things don't get all mixed up? And you can come and sit down here. There we go. Okay, so lots of grown-ups watching today will understand the peril of trying to multitask work with raising a, a small person. But we keep going. So I'm colouring in my leaf, Elodie. Can you see? Mm -hmm. It's a bit scribbly, but I really like the texture of that bumpy edge of my paper plate. So I'm just colouring that in to make a lovely green colour. Oh, well, that was ready anyway. So my <laughs> leaf is all coloured in, and now I'm going to use a brown felt tip pen to colour in my apple's stalk. And again, I've got that lovely texture, which I'm really happy about, from the edge of the paper plate. That's the wonderful thing about junk modelling is that you get to find lots of different textures and shapes that make it a bit different to just using ordinary card or paper. It's lots more fun. Elodie, are you going to say hello to everybody? Hello. Hello. There we go. Okay, so I've got my stalk and my leaf all ready. Right then, what I'm going to ask you to do, Elodie, is just to sit down in this space here for me. There you go. So now I'm going to move on to working on my apple. Now, I would like this apple to become a threading apple for a little caterpillar. So what I need to do is start to cut some holes into it for all of my threading. Now, when we cut holes in paper, there's a really nice and easy way to do it. And we often use blue tack to help us. So what we can do is take some lovely blue tack. We'll take that back off of the things that we were just making, Elodie. Take some blue tack, like that and like that. And for each hole, I'm going to use the blue tack at the back. I'm going to take a pen and I'm going to poke a hole through where the blue tack is. So I'm going to draw where the blue tack is so that I know and I'm going to poke a hole through just like that and I give it a circle, squidgy widgy 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 woo, lovely. Now that's where my scissors are going to go in the moment so I'm going to do another one, put the blue tack on the back, mark a little dot where the blue tack is so you should be able to feel it on the other side of your paper and We've got that little dot and now push through and try and make the hole that you make nice and wide because you're going to need to get your scissors through there in a minute. So we want to do about five holes for our threading. So I'm going to put my blue tack on the back again. I'm going to keep my finger there and I'm going to find the blue tack on the other side, mark where it is, pop it back down. You can put it on your table and then we're going to make that hole again. Squidgy, widgy, widgy, woo. So I've got one, two, three little holes at the moment. Let's do another one. I'm going to take the blue tack, pop it on the back of my plate, and then I'm going to put my finger there, mark out where I've got that blue ta tack shape, put a little circle or a little dot, and again, push through. And now I've got one, two, three, four dots. Now I want another one. So again, put the blue tack on the back, use your finger to find it on the other side, mark a little dot, pop it on the table, press through into the blue tack or Play-Doh works as well, or a sponge. And there we have our bit of paper with five little holes. 
okay? Now, once you've got those little holes, you can start to make them bigger with a pencil or a pen. Just be careful because we're going to use our scissors in a moment to make those holes even bigger. Now, if you're doing really well with making that hole, what you can actually do is push the entire pencil through it, and then you don't need scissors at all. So I'm using a pen, and I'm going all the way through. Now I've got those little holes already made. Just be very careful that you're pushing away from you. So you're pushing away from your eyes. So watch, can you see? I'm going all the way through. Lots of twisting going on. Grown ups, I would supervise this one, but it's really, really great to get those hand muscles ready for writing. And again, we're pushing through, making sure those pens are away from our eyes and keeping our fingers nice and safe. We're holding the paper firmly, and there we go, we didn't even need scissors. If you would like the little holes to be bigger, you can use scissors. You can actually make them the size of a 2P coin if you like and maybe use the coin to draw around. Again, that's a lovely mathsy activity because we can make different shapes for the holes that our caterpillar is going to go through. So my apple's nearly ready. All I need to do now is use some sticky glue. I'm going to use a glue stick for this because it works really well on card and paper. Pull that lid off. There we go. And I'm going to choose where the top of my apple is, which is going to be up here. And I'm going to put a big glob of glue right at the top of my apple. Glob, 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 glob. Now, if your apple's still not dry, you can watch this again later and then do it along with me. And if you want, you can just watch for this part. Okay, so I've got glue on the top of my apple. Then I'm going to put some glue at the bottom on the front of my apple's stalk just like that, so that's ready. I'm gonna pop it down on the table. I know it's ready to go then. And I'm going to do the same with my apple's leaf. Some glue at the front, at the bottom. And that means that those two bits of glue are going to meet with the glue that's on the back of my apple. And that will create a really strong bond. So now I'm going to take the front of my leaf to the back of my apple and I'm going to stick them together and press down firmly. Can you see? Press it down nice and firmly. And then I'm going to do the same with my apple's stalk. I'm going to stick it down firmly next to where the leaf is. Press, press, press. And there we go. We start to look a little bit more like an apple and you can move that around so it's perfect for you while the glue dries. So there you are. My apple is ready. But now I've got all of these little holes for threading. I need to make something to thread. I'm definitely going to make these holes a little bit bigger later. I might do it now, actually. So I want them to be big enough for my caterpillar to pass through. So if you're making a bigger caterpillar, you can actually cut into the holes and make them bigger with your scissors. So that's how we're doing it. And having those holes there already makes that really easy for you. So I'm just going to do two so that I'll be able to show you. And cutting into those holes, we go round in a circle. So if ever you need to cut a hole in a piece of paper, if you make a teeny weeny little one, then you can get your scissors into it and then you can make that hole any shape you like, which is very handy. Oh, Elodie, you are a grumble today. What's going on? So this is where you're going to need your string. I don't have string today, and like we always say, we're improvising with the things that we have around the house. I do have a pipe cleaner, which I'm really, really happy about. So I can actually use that as my string. But string does work better, or you can use wool, or you can use ribbon. I've gone for pipe cleaner today because I quite like it. So we're now going to get to work making our caterpillar. So what you're going to need to do is take your green card. I'm going to pop it up behind me so that I can show you. Elodie, sweetheart, what do you need? Okay, that's fine. Right then, so we're then going to draw four little circles. Upstairs, please, Elodie. We're going to draw four little circles. Now you can draw around something and if you're using a glue stick, you can actually draw around that. So I'm going to go around the lid. There we go, using it as a sort of a template. There's one. Let's find another space for this one. Two. If you don't have something round, then you can always just draw your own circles like this. One, two, three, 
four. Just make sure that they're about the same size. So you can use something round to draw around or you can draw your very own circles and I will leave that up to you. Now I'm going to cut those circles out using my scissors to be very careful in going around the edges. Here we go, we're going all the way around. Bella, can you, I, what, what are you up to? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Oh my goodness, it's like Piccadilly Circus here today. But that's okay, we're doing a great job with our crafting. Okay, so I have cut out one little green circle. I wonder if you can think of what we're going to use the little green circles for. What do you think? Can you guess? And how are you doing? Now you don't just have to do four. I've done four, but you can do five or six or seven or eight or nine or ten. It really depends on how long you'd like your caterpillar to be. I'm going to have quite a little one. So here we are, we're going to go all the way around that circle. Can you see how I'm being very careful? And I'm not really moving my scissors. Instead, I'm moving the paper around. I'm keeping the scissors quite still, and that's a safer way to use them. So let's go, shall I show you? We're just opening and closing those scissors and moving the paper around in a circle. Really, really good for helping our eyes and our hands work together. So there we go. Let's count those circles and check. I wanted four. Shall we see if we've got four? One, two, three, four. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do, now this is where things get slightly fiddly. So I am going to attach my caterpillar to my pipe cleaner and you can attach yours to your string. By doing this, you're going to take your little circle like that you're going to put lots of glue on it, like that. Then you're going to take your string or your pipe cleaner or your ribbon and you're going to place it right in the middle of your green circle, like that. Then you are going to fold the circle in half around your string or your pipe cleaner or your ribbon, whatever you're using, and glue those sides together like that and you should end up with something of a semicircle. okay let's do it again 